going to have a major battle over uh, workers' rights under Brexit. I don't trust the government. I don't believe Theresa May when she says she's going to protect workers' rights. I think that uh, they'll use the device of the fact that the workers' rights from the EU are not acts of parliament in order to amend and diminish them as time goes on. More fundamentally, uh, I think the problem is with trade union rights which are not protected by the EU and therefore are completely at the mercy of, of the government. The fact that they introduced the Trade Union Act 2016 means that they're intent on smashing the power of, of uh, trade unions. So that we're going to have a major war on that front. And the damage that's been done by the Trade Union Act of 2016 has not yet been felt, but it will come. It w and it will pose a major problem for trade unions in sustaining their membership, their political funds, their autonomy their, and their right to strike and of course with it the right to collective bargaining. All the trade unions of course have, uh, have uh, developed strategies for dealing with uh, picketing and industrial uh, disputes and so forth in order to minimise the uh, impact of the legislation. There's going to have to be a great deal of uh, campaigning. I think some of the issues that are going to be thrown up because of Brexit will be opportunities for, ca uh, for the trade union movement to campaign on. In particular, the uh, free trade agreements which the government must now negotiate in order to have something to replace the European Union. Now those free trade agree agreements are going to be disastrous for the trade union movement for a whole number of uh, reasons, so that they will provide a major campaigning tool in which the public will see just the damage that will, will be done. Without a doubt, the, the solution will have to be another Labour government committed to the sorts of policies that the front front bench has already articulated. The NUT's been doing a fine job in trying to protect its right to collective bargaining uh, and in particular of course its uh, right to uh, strike uh, and that those campaigns must continue. I think the merger with the ATL is obviously a major step forward in uh, strengthening teaching unions and putting them in the position where they can resist the government policies on education, which are a disaster not just for teachers, but of course for parents and their children.